to create a new product in the ideal EPOS software without a barcode um, is an easy process. To begin, as you can see in this database we are using, it is a cafe slash ice cream shop. And what we shall do is we'll first of all create a new department so you can see how that works and add it to the sales screen. And then we will then add a product to that department so that you can see how it goes into there. So the first thing you, you'll need to do is go to manager, back office login, and then department. This is where you can create, rename, edit and remove existing departments. However, what we suggest is if you're not going to use the department, try and rename it or reuse it. Or if you are using our barcode database, always create a new. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to create a new database. So we scroll down to the bottom, seeing that the highest number available was 159. So the next number we are going to use is 160. We are then, for example purposes, going to call this test department. And then to select the VAT, you double click on the box next to VAT and select what VAT category this falls under. So for this one, we're going to choose B, which is normal VAT. It's not an age check required product, so it's alcohol, blades, or sharp items, um, spray paint, etc. It would fall under age check. Um, in case you didn't know, new licensing laws require you to keep a log of when you refuse to sell an item to someone under a certain age, and our system can help keep a track of that for you. So then, once you've t selected all that information, you then go and click Save. And you can see now when we scroll back down to the bottom that our new department is there, which is 160. That number 160 will come in handy in a bit because we're going to need it when we start adding items to this department. So from there, you can come out of departments and go into menu. This is where you design your main sales screen. So we're just going to click on a, just for example, I'll show you this as well. If you wanted to remove a button from this screen, apart from the four sales buttons along the top, which is available in our paper guide, you click on it, click no, and it will remove the department from that box. Then to add a department back into the box, you double click the blue box here where it says department ID. It'll open up your department list and you can scroll down and select the department you want to put in there. So we'll put in our test department, as this is the one we're going to add a product to. So you can see here now it's filled in this bit. So now we're going to click add to main view and it'll add the department to this box. As you can see the text isn't that readable so you can change the font colour to help make it more readable or again the background colour. It just depends on your kind of personal taste. We always recommend a light colour with dark text and that's because it makes it easier to read uh, in daylight and things like that. So let's just change that back to, uh, let's put a, an orange one there so it stands out. Okay, now if we go back to the main sales screen, you can see that that button hasn't changed. However, if we restart the software. and log back in. You can see now that that department has changed. Because this is, is running in retail mode, when we click that button initially, it'll ask us to enter a value for that department on the keypad and click it. However, we're gonna change that so that it, it acts the same way as in restaurant mode. If you're in restaurant mode, this whole button at the top here would say a uh, table slash delivery instead but you, this this method counts to both anyway so we can go back into menu select the test department and where it says sub menu visible in here on the bottom right we click that make sure it's ticked and then save again we may have to restart oh no we're okay Usually after any major changes, you have to restart what you're doing. Okay, so 
we can see now that this department is completely empty. So say if we want to add our, our test product here in the top left hand square, this is called square number one or position code one. And all our position codes begin with zero as they're all two digits. So it'll be zero, one, zero, two, up to zero, nine. So that's zero, one to zero, four, zero, five to zero, six, seven, eight and zero nine and then it goes 10 11 12 as normal so position code zero one so you first of all have to click qty slash plu which stands for quantity slash plu and you can see that's kind of highlighted a little bit gray so you know you've clicked it you then type in your department code which we know from checking earlier is 160 and then your position code which is zero one and then once you've done that, you can click PLU and it'll say add new item. So you then click yes. And then you can put your item description in. So this will be test product one for us. You double click your department. So say, for example, this was um, a drinks department where you're selling spirits such as vodka. And then you put a Coke splash button within this department as a button. You could still select soft drinks as your department here so that it shows up on your receipt under the soft drinks department even though it, it, the physical button is within spirits. However, as this is just a test, we're just going to click test department and then you can enter your price. So for this example, we'll just put $1.99. Again, you can select age check here if this particular product needs age checking and you can choose whether you measure the units in number or grams. So if you have 10 of a product, that's a number. Whereas if it's 90 grams of dog food, you'd click grams and you can assign the, 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 how much you have in the stock area. So then we can click save. So now when we come out of this test department and go back in, you can see that our test product one is now showing up in the top left. So we can click that and sell it as normal without using the barcode. Now for stock purposes, it becomes a bit more challenging when you use this method, which is why in a retail environment, we always suggest barcode. However, it's still doable. So we know that this product, its product ID is 16001. So we can go into manager, back office login, and then stock, add and waste stock here at the bottom left. So we can click that. Now, you can search into the barcode here because that product code is the barcode if you like 16001 hit enter and you can see our test product one has come up so let's say we have 10 of them in stock they cost us 50p each yeah and say that you could even assign when they go out of date so now very simply we can click add stock and that's done so if we look that item back up hit enter you can see that we have 10 in stock last time we bought them we bought 10 and how many have we sold well we've only sold one and we can even set it so that it warns us when there's only two left that that is the low stock quantity so you can see here on the right you can print the low stock so when you click that the printer would then print whatever it sees is in low stock so say we want to edit this product change the name on it um, or anything like that you can go under items and again you can click show all items which would show every single item in your in your system or we can do a search so you can search by the product codes like we have done so 16001 and that'll bring up the product but you can also search by description so we could search in test and search and it would show any products with that in the name so, or, and the department. So we can click test product one, click edit, click the arrow to the left. And say we wanted to change the department, you can just double click this box and change the department. Or if you wanted to change the price, you can change the price on here. And you can also, you can't change the VAT as the VAT is assigned by the department. But if you wanted to change it to an age check product, you can just click that. So that, that 
and that's basically it for adding and managing a new item use, without using a barcode. If you have any questions, you can call the support line and we will do our best to help you out.